It's a simple question I ask. What is insulin resistance? I literally can't get a straight answer. I mean, if you're a physician, put your answer now for what causes insulin resistance. Let's see it, let's see it down there. Let's see if anyone can guess or figure it out. So insulin resistance is actually insulin receptor dysfunction. Let me explain that further. Your insulin receptors become dysfunctional for a number of reasons. And usually it's a vitamin deficiency, but it could be a low hormone problem. Testosterone is critical for insulin receptor function, but usually it's a vitamin deficiency that, that causes it. There are certain key vitamins that the insulin receptor needs to function. You need to think of the insulin receptor like a, like a, a car motor or high-end sports model, a European car, and you have this insulin receptor that starts misfiring because it's missing either zinc or fish oil, DHA, DHA or EPA, mainly DHA is the wall for that engine. Chromium, B12, folate, other things that are so critical for insulin receptor function. And if you find those out, if you can discover those, remember, I'm looking at it more as a mechanical problem than a magical problem, because doctors will just treat you with metformin and tell you to start exercising more, which is true, you can exercise more, it does help. And maybe that's it, and they start on metformin, Eventually that quits working. You have to go to insulin and other products and, and, and the high-end synthetic stuff that they're using now. So I believe that magical thinking is a, is a fallacy thinking in medicine, that doctors need to look for root causes. So we look at that intracellular vitamin panel that we do, and we can get a pretty good idea why your insulin receptor is not working. It hasn't been too long a time, maybe only two or three or four years that you're type two diabetic, you can usually reverse it. If you find out why the insulin receptor is being dysfunctional, you can reverse it. There's a Reader's Digest article. There's been several on how they reverse type two diabetes. They don't delve into the way I'm delving into it, but people do it all the time. There's a lot of set things you can do to reverse your type two diabetes. If you have it, don't live with it. If you have low testosterone, look at the other options. Someone needs to look at your intracellular vitamins, minerals, amino acids. If you have PCOS, same thing. If you have a POI, same thing. If you have POTS, same thing. If you have hypothyroidism that no one can figure out why, same thing. You can take medicines forever, or you can deal with the root cause. And that's what I do.